Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Today we have a few colours, some ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, um, <laughs> Mars black, I couldn't remember that for a second. I was on an iron, what is it? Mars black, yellow ochre and titanium white. So I'm going to get some ultramarine blue and some white. Probably need more white than that, or less blue. <laughs> That's quite nice. I'll try that. So we're doing a snowy scene today because it was a little. Let's grey this down a little bit. Bit, bit of that Mars black. Bit more. That's quite nice, that's quite a lot better. Yeah, we'll try this anyway. Get the, get the painting started. So, yeah, it's been uh, snowing and uh, of course, I had my eye out the window in the morning thinking, oh yes, I'm gonna get some really good pictures today of the snow and uh, there was no snow. <laughs> and. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, damn it. I was, uh, I was up ready, thinking, oh, what a great day. Great day for me to get pictures of snow. And uh, yeah, so they were, it wasn't snowing. It was just an all the snow that was there the day before had all melted away, or washed away, really, because of the, uh, the sleet. And uh, the sleet and rain. And I was like, ah. Oh, no, but then it started snowing. I looked out the window again. It was snowing. I was like, "Oh, yes!" So I thought, "Well, here's my chance. I'll uh, go out now, and maybe I'll get some pictures of uh, a little bit of snow, <laughs> or at least with the snowflakes coming down." So I rushed out and. Uh, got to totally wrapped up with waterproofs and gloves and everything <laughs> I went on a bit of a, a walking adventure and uh, by the time I'd been out for a bit the snow started coming down so heavy that there was snow everywhere <laughs> and I got a few pictures of the snow and uh, this isn't actually one of the pictures I took. This was another one that I've taken before. This is a uh, of the scene as ever seen that I like. Oh, I need to bring that sky down, um, which is why I was hoping for it to be like. But the uh, the snow by the time I was walking home, the snow had settled. But I did get some good pictures and they, I will be painting them. Some scenes where the snow is falling, it's just starting to create a snowy area. But I was in a snowy mood and I was looking through my photos and I found this one and I was like, oh, I remember this day. It was when, uh, when I couldn't get to work because it was snowing so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, oh, well, that'll be a quite a good one to do. I'm just really blocking it in to start with, blocking the colour in to get an area done. I might need to uh, extend the top part a bit. I'm just thinking about uh, the, the trees really. So I've got some trees. Not like that. And that's giving us a good start actually. It's a good start to the painting. 
So while it's drying, what I might do is put in a little bit of colour. Just use this brush. This is a uh, it's an old Cotman brush, number six six eight. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is use the same sky colour, but put a little bit more blue and probably need a bit more of this white in as well. I'm going to spray my paints as well. Just to stop them from drying. So I'll get some of this uh, blue and that colour and make a little a slightly darker colour. Might go a little bit darker. I think maybe that. So I want to paint the tree that's at the back first. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll my brush a little bit. a little bit darker because you can't really see that bit there and I'll, I'll just roll my brush there as well And then we'll use that as the uh, beginning of the tree. <laughs> so now what I'm going to use is, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, I had it a minute ago. Is this it? This isn't it. Oh, it's there. The number two rigger brush. up some of this bluey grey colour. Sort of a bluey grey and I'll start putting in the uh, branches of this, well the, tr the tree shape really. So that comes down to about there. I'll put in as many branches as you want. I think I'll do for starters anyway. And then over here as well. Just a few little uh, branches and things. A bit strange these trees, they almost look like they've been chopped a little bit. They probably have. <laughs> I'll just switch to my other brush just to create some uh, shapes.
So I'll start quite faint with colour because then what I'll do is start bringing more colour in as uh, we get closer. So I'm going to throw in a bit more of the blue, a bit more of the, uh, the dark, a touch of yellow, just to give it that greenish tint. And I can look at this area that's in front. This is, should be drying now, yeah. That's drying now, so I can start putting in this tree that's in front of this tree. Hmm, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll give it a quick dry before I do that. Okay, so now I'm going to move down a little bit. Uh, closer so we've got this area here which I haven't really painted too much but this uh, greeny yellow yellowy grey <laughs> what color is it I don't know yeah try and throw in the colors that I see nature might actually need to be a little bit darker I'm thinking in places it's just sort of a uh, undergrowth kind of area and over here again it also comes down like this and this comes in front of that It's actually quite nice to uh, throw in little bits of colour, maybe uh, like that little bit of blue. Just mixing with my finger there. <laughs> A little bit of finger painting. Why not? Bits of yellow. It's got like that impressionistic sort of feel, I suppose. It's areas that have uh, got a bit more. Sort of a greyish blue. trying to sort of uh, um, get rid of some of the edges a little bit because it's quite soft, it needs to be quite soft and something like that, like that. <laughs> soft and sort of like that now that is uh, that's a good explanation <laughs> That gives us another layer, and then what I want to do is uh, start building up. There's a tree here, so what I might do actually is uh, paint the uh, tree in using my uh, dark color, throwing the darks, the blues, the, the browns, the yellows. 
trying to get my my colourful black I suppose I've got crimson on my palette and I'm thinking why did I put that on? I don't really need it <laughs> this is a uh, painting I can do with three colours really and I suppose I thought just in case I need something to be a bit warmer maybe you never know when you need a bit more warmth in the painting so the tree goes there There is actually some ivy growing on it, which I'm going to paint second. Uh, I'll just get the shape of the tree first, and then I can start adding things like that. What I really liked about this painting was the, uh, the contrast between the uh, the, s the snow these these trees that are going to be in front and the background tree and that's really why I thought oh that's that looks good I'll, I'll have a go at painting that <laughs> can be something simple like that that you like and you can think oh well, I want to paint that because of the way the light hits it's whatever you want to do isn't it There's another sort of branch there. I didn't really notice that at first. There's quite a few uh, branches. I sometimes kind of do like crosses a bit like this like bad crosses <laughs> can get that indication of a load of uh, branches and things it does amaze me when I'm looking at trees and the amount of branches are, are there everywhere <laughs> that goes root like that. Put them in. And I want to uh, I'm just gonna tap this brush in. Bit of yellow, bit of blue. It'll make a sort of a dark green. Just tap it in. So I'm going to create the, uh, the growth on the tree of the ivy. So I'm going to just tap that in. That looks pretty good. A bit of this. Bit of a uh, area growing there. Just using my finger just to soften that a bit.
can even use this to tap a few uh, little branches on now some of the paint's gone anyway just waiting for some of the paint to, to go and you can tap some on if you feel you need some more I think that's pretty close and there's another tree that's growing here I might as well just tap this in first to be honest I like to try different ways because you can either draw in the uh, tree or tap in like this if it's got the ivy growing up it which these do there's a hint of green in that, green and blues It sort of grows like that. Thinking about the shape that sort of hangs down there as well. And then start putting in my branches. I really like this rigger brush. It's a number two rigger aquafine. If you do a, like a wiggle and a bit of light pressure, you can start to create your uh, finer branches. this morning I was out walking again <laughs> and I got some really good pictures and uh, I was like yes because I wanted some uh, sunrise photos and uh, when I looked out this morning it was sunny and uh, really the sun sunrise was so strong I was like oh I've got to go out got to get out there and get some photos while I can and then uh, you can use those for paintings as well so there should be some good videos coming up good uh, episodes of paintings different sort of scenes it's good to do a variety of scenes some buildings some trees you know I like trees great to uh, to look at aren't they especially when the the light was hitting them this morning they looked fantastic I'll just do that uh, weird little uh, crosses things again just to do those tiny branches and stuff or you can always just tap with a brush. I find when I do it, I tap my uh, palette first so I haven't got much paint on, and then you can do it a bit better. Something else I think about is what I don't want. <laughs> like you could, when you're painting your tree, you might not like some of the areas, some of the branches, or maybe you think it would look better with less branches. And it's your painting, so you do what you like, what you want. Because you're not you're not doing a photo, you're doing a painting, so you can do that. There's a couple of posts there. I'll put that in. Back there you can see uh,
somewhat different, different sort of line. Actually, you can just about see some trees back there. Hmm, that'll do. Don't want it to be too detailed. Now I want to uh, let's get rid of this yellow there. It's a bit too strong, so just wipe that away. There is some uh, growth in here, this area. few areas. And down here as well there is. And then we're gonna uh, put some On them. I'm going in between the white and the yellow and the blue. Till I get to the colour that I'm after. If you do it a little bit dark, you can always go a little bit lighter on the top. Using bigger strokes at the front and smaller further back. Gives that illusion of uh, scale. So we're starting to get that sort of flow that I'm aiming for. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that colour on my liner brush. There's all these uh, like sticks and things in here. Darker than what I've done. So I'll get a little bit of the dark. I suppose what they are really is uh, little grass clumps. A little bit of the yellow ochre and in with my colour and.
Okay, thing with there, with that part. Now what I'll do is I want to give this a bit of a dry and, uh, and then I'll start putting on some snow because I want it to be snowing. <laughs> okay so we're all dry, dry-ish and now I'm gonna, I've got some white on my uh, brush and I'm gonna think snow is coming this way so I'm just going to put little paint these in very specifically <laughs> going this way I want to keep some of the uh, dark so I won't cover all of it but I just want to give us the impression of snow There are quicker ways of doing it. You could spray like a brush or something. I just find this way it works quite well for me. Just depends on uh, how specific you want to put the snowflakes, doesn't it? <laughs> because if you do it with like a sprayish kind of way, the control for me the controls are gone so it's a random thing which nothing wrong with that but just for me today I want to do it like this see I've made sure my white snow is the whitest so it stands out over the sky that was a little bit bit too much of a big snowflake <laughs> Okay, I think I'm about there with that. You know what I'm thinking? There should be somebody here. <laughs> I think there should be somebody there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm there. Maybe if I get some like blue. Should I? Mm. I don't know actually I quite like it the way it is but it's always tempting to just put someone walking in there if I was walking I'd probably be about there about there I'd be
I've changed my idea actually. I think it was some somebody. Maybe I can use my red. Maybe I can have like someone with a red dress on. Maybe someone. Maybe she's a Victorian person. <laughs> <laughs> I always turn to Victorian, I don't know why. But it's just, I like the old paintings. You know, they always look, I don't know, I really like them. That history, I just like the way Victorian painters, the paintings work. I just think they look really good. But anyway, have a little bit a light on maybe. one side I don't know someone walk in there I quite like that actually. Using a bit of blue and a little bit of that. Maybe they would be wearing something long over this as well because it being cold. Kind of looks like a uh, Asian person, like Japanese kind of dress or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do quite like it though. I was going to put like a bluish, I'm not sure about this now, I think I'll get rid of it, <laughs> I'll paint over it. So I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to paint over the top of that again. <laughs> I don't really like it. So I've just quickly uh, painted out that. Just put a little bit of paint on the top after drying it. <laughs> I did really like it. But um, I like the way it is to be honest. Maybe there could be somebody there. I keep thinking maybe but I think I'll leave it. So I'll say thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.